How's it going YouTube? Sick Eric back again with another video and I want you guys to take a break from Samsung for a minute and uh, we're gonna go on over a device that came out in October. LG started this whole program called the Explorer program and one of the first devices that got released on that program was the LG Wing. Well the LG Wing has landed here at Sick Eric TV and when this phone came out I was very excited. It reminded me of the phone Tony Stark used in Iron Man where he flips it up at the beginning of the movie and he's being attacked or whatever. Really, really cool phone. I thought it looked really nice, but then the price came out, $9.99, and I didn't get it because I thought it wasn't worth it just because mid-range uh, chipset, 1080p, 60 hertz display, no stereo speakers, and I just thought it was too expensive for what the specs were. The innovation is here, but the specs weren't here for $1,000. Well, recently this phone just went on sale on T-Mobile for $696. Yes, $696. This phone has gone down $300 on T-Mobile and now this is worth it. So today we're going to be unboxing the LG Wing and see what comes in the box and I'm going to give you my first impressions. I've never used this device and it's pretty much going to be a learning experience for the both of us to uh, use this device, flip it up and stuff like that. So today we're going to be unboxing the LG Wing. Stick around guys. Don't worry about Samsung right now, worry about LG. They're always the underdogs and hopefully this changes things and it'll be a fun phone, let's face it. It's gonna be a really, really cool phone to use. All right, so now we're gonna unbox the LG Wing. Hopefully it isn't too windy. We are at the park today, and let's go ahead and check out the device. Now I got the uh, 256 gigabyte version. This is the uh, Illusion Sky Color, which they label it the uh, Blue Kit. Really, really nice. I'm very excited about this. Like I said, check this out if you're interested. It is on sale. As we all know, phones tend to go down in price after a couple of months, especially LG. And that was the case here. If you wait, you could get this for a very good price. And I did wait and I got this at $696, well, $700. So really, really nice. Let's go ahead and check out what comes in the box, shall we? We're at the park and there is a little airport that's like right by. And it's pretty cool normally, but when you're doing video, it's kind of annoying. So let's go ahead and see what comes in here. LG Wing. First of all, you are greeted with the device up top. Now it is a hefty phone, pretty heavy, probably about the same as the Note 20 Ultra. The Note 20 Ultra is a bit lighter, but size-wise it's about the same. Uh, you get your SIM stuff and card. You get LG's promise as far as their you know, warranty and things like that. Hopefully none of this stuff blows away. And you get your manuals and stuff along with your SIM, SIM card tool and things like that. You get your USB-A or actually this one's USB-C to USB-C charging cable and look at that you get a charger I believe this is a 25 watt fast charger in the box. Wow take a look at this Apple and Samsung and you also get a I wish there were headphones but Fortunately, no headphones, you get a USB-C to 3.5 millimeter dongle because there is no headphone jack. Unfortunately, LG left out the headphone. It has come to this. Yes, LG, the kings of quad decks and headphones, does not have a headphone jack on the LG wing. But that is quite all right. It's because of the innovation here with this swiveling screen. So really, really nice. Let's go ahead and take this plastic off and take a look at the device, shall we? Let's go ahead and put all this stuff back in the box. That way it doesn't blow away. Here's the device, really, really nice. This is the Illusion Sky Color, glass back. Beautiful, beautiful color. Let's take this damn sticker off too. Why do you include these? I do not know. Really, really excellent looking color. Man, this thing looks gorgeous. Another airplane going by. All right, so now here we're gonna go ahead and set up the uh, fingerprint sensor. And you just pretty much just lift, 
hold to get your fingerprint. Cover the entire sensor. Now LG's fingerprints in display fingerprint sensors are a bit slower than usual in other devices like OnePlus is the fastest, Samsung's pretty good. LG, they're still a little bit behind with the uh, fingerprint centers on their devices. So now we're gonna get the edges and hopefully we are done. So I'm just gonna add one for now and we're going through the setup, but everything is going to be nice and quick for you guys just because, uh, what the hell is this? Uh, I am 16 years or older. Yes, I am. Thank you very much. Accept. Blah, blah, blah. Done. So now we're going to go ahead and get into the device. So really, really nice. This thing feels beautiful. Like, I cannot get over how well this thing is. You know, being for what it is, a flip phone, it's really not that much thicker than a normal device. It's very sleek and slim. So the aspect ratio is really nice. You got three cameras on the back. You got a 64 megapixel main sensor, a 13 megapixel ultra wide, which is going to be the gimbal camera, which pretty much means that it's an ultra wide camera, camera, but it is cropped in a little bit. So when you, you know, sort of go side by side, it's going into those cropped out areas to give you the illusion of a gimbal. And then you also get another 12 megapixel ultra wide front facing camera is a pop-up uh, 32 megapixel camera it's a really really nice specs right there try out the uh, fingerprint sensor it's a bit slow but not too bad and here's a look at the whole UI so let's go ahead and go into the uh, setting shall we go into display turn on always on display nav bar we got uh, the gestures on turn on video enhancer uh, screen color let's go ahead and do vivid just because I like my stuff to pop uh, brightness is on auto let's take that off let's go ahead auto rotation screen timeout I like to do five minutes on that really really nice swivel home you get all your options for your swivel home right here swipe down on home screen to get your notification panel nice uh, swipe effect we're gonna go ahead and keep that on slide but you also get breeze panorama and carousel we're gonna keep that on slide and uh, home screen lock you could lock your icons on your home screen if you want as well so uh, let's go ahead and check out the storage so 30.52 gigabytes is being used of internal storage 12% and that is out of 256 gigabytes, you get 225 free out of the box. So that's really, really nice that LG included high storage on this. So flagship specs as far as storage goes, cameras is just that processor. And uh, this didn't, you know, lack of stereo speakers on here, but this is still really, really nice. Uh, I don't think this has SD card support, but let's go ahead and check that out. So here is the SIM tray. Oh, and we do get SD card support as well. So 256 gigabytes of internal storage and micro SD card. That is, oh, LG. Hopefully they're not screwing up this time. So let's go ahead and go back home and let's give this the first swivel. Hopefully I don't drop this. Look at that. Really nice, it gives you a little intro on how to rearrange your apps swivel mode you could try opening an app each screen multi app usage so you could combine apps together second screen apps and then just go ahead and hit done and here are some apps that are in a carousel up here and then you also get apps down here at the bottom so i i'm gonna find this really really fun and interesting to use you know have youtube up here and searching the social web down here or whatever catching up on social live at the bottom animations are a bit slow but let's go ahead and check out see if we could uh, do something about that so we're going to go into settings about phone and we're going to go into software and build click that so many times go into developer options and then keep going back developer options 
turn on. Now let's go on over to animations and see if we could do something about these animations. Change these to five. And see if that does anything for the uh, animations. So yeah, it's a little bit quicker with the uh, animations sped up. You could probably take these off as well just to uh, give you more of a quicker animation, but it might look kind of funky whenever you're doing other things. But yeah, go into your developer options and change animation speed to get a better speed as far as animations go when flicking this thing open. Tip number one. There you go, there you are, guys. Tip number one. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the camera, shall we? Now you can record 4K 60 on the rear and 1080p 60 on the front. Unfortunately, there is no 4K on the front. We're gonna turn that on later. So here's what the camera app looks like. Your typical normal camera app, you get video, time-lapse, portrait, sticker, more. And then you also get night view, manual video, which is really, really nice. Uh, manual camera, YouTube Live, AR stickers, slow-mo, and you could also download some more as well. So let's go back over there. But the cool thing about this is when you flick it open, you get this whole nice gimbal mode. That way you could record gimbal style. So yeah, it is a bit windy out here, so sorry about that, guys. Joystick gives you the option to move it around, and you can see right there, you can move that cropped out picture and act like you're moving the actual lens but you are not moving anything it is all doing this software wise so that is really really nice features right there got it and then your lock button which means you can lock this and it'll lock everything so I can move this around pretty violently and it's still staying on the LG wing box so that's pretty cool got it uh, try touching the reset button. I can reset everything the settings on there. got it So really really nice first person view mode really really cool features on here I'm Gonna go ahead and click done now. Here is a little preview of everything so I could go on over to the side To the right I can go up even though I'm pointing the camera down Really really cool right here. You also get dual recording which brings up that 32 megapixel front facing camera, as you can see me right there. And you also get a picture or video on the other side as well of what you're looking at. So that's pretty cool for vloggers and things like that. I'm really excited to try this camera out and uh, see what it's capable of. And then you could also do it to where it brings up a little window down here. So that's really, really nice. You can flip it around to where that little window is of what you're recording and you're up here in front. So that's pretty cool. Really, really cool gimbal mode, time-lapse, slow-mo. So really, really nice options right here. Full HD, unfortunately, only on gimbal mode. So hopefully there's an update that allows you to do uh, 4K, we'll see. Now you also do get a whole bunch of different settings as far as your uh, ASMR, which was missing from the LG Velvet. Thank you, LG, for including this on this device. And you get voice bouquet mode. Oh, this is pretty cool. This is really, really nice to in include all of these on the phone. Uh, LG, like I said, left this out on the LG Velvet. I was very disappointed just because that was a different version of the Velvet. This is one version, Snapdragon 765 version of the LG Wing. So that's really, really nice. Look at the shine of this device. So really, really beautiful phone. It sort of looks blue here, but then has that rainbowy tint. Like this thing is amazing in the sun. So yeah, I'm very excited about this phone. For once, I'm excited about an LG device again. Now, will the software be a little wonky? Who knows, I guess we'll find out. At least I got that animation down a little bit quicker with those settings, so that is a pretty cool thing. Man, this thing just looks awesome. Like, I can't believe this thing. This is really, really good deal. For $700, you're getting the innovation here for the LG Wing. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. This has been my first impressions and unboxing of the new LG Wing. Well, not new, it's been out for like three months, but I guarantee you since this price drop, you're gonna be seeing a lot more videos of this device on YouTube. So really, really nice. I know some other people already picked this up at its lower price point. 
but this this is an absolute steal for seven hundred dollars this is really really nice you're only getting one stereo one speaker down here at the bottom but hopefully it's not too bad and hopefully it gets loud enough uh, really really beautiful design really nice i love this color it's fucking gorgeous sorry for the language but this thing just feels nice and this flip up thing that's that's pretty cool i'm excited to try this out you might want to get a case because when you're flipping this on it feels like this phone is going to fall out of your hands and you don't want to drop it. But really, really cool design. LG has landed at Sick Air TV. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that little notification bell for future notifications on my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thumbs down if you didn't. That is quite all right. And don't forget, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.